Hello one and all and welcome to another episode of Pixelmon um, on the Pokeballer server. I am Dan from Hippo Crisis Gaming and we are well on our way now to the next gym. I'm going to make sure that next time, next episode, which will be Tuesday, um, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the gym. Um, and I've picked, I picked my final team. I have them with me now. Uh, in fact, let's take a look. There's a, there's a new Pokemon I've just caught while I was doing some leveling. Um, and yeah, there's no way we're going to lose this one. This is going to be awesome. So we're going to go with our starter, um, Sceptile. He has Aerial Ace now. I taught him Aerial Ace. Uh, that gives him a super effective move. Then, I've caught a Hitmonchan, um, who, in three levels time, is going to know f Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch. Two of those super effective against Grass. Super excited, um, because with, let me see, uh, I don't know, I mean, he's got Mac Punch, that's a bit poor, but uh, <laughs> basically, super effective punch. Who can complain? Then we have Nido King, who has come on leaps and bounds. I finished leveling him up. He has Poison Jab, Earth Power, which is amazing. Not, not useful for this gym, but, you know, ground move, stab move, awesome. Venus Shock and Horn Attack. That's two different poison moves. They're super effective. He is weak. Well, he's not weak to grass because the poison isn't very effective, but he's not, he's not, doesn't resist grass, but it's fine. Arbok, I decided to use because he does know Fire Fang and also I taught him Poison Jab. I'm not sure where I got the Poison Jab from. I suddenly had it in my hand. I think maybe one of you guys gave it me because I was. Um, I bumped into a couple of people. Um, I think I know who gave it me, but I can't really say because I'm not sure and I don't want to give somebody. But comment below if it was you. I don't know. But thank you very much, whoever it was. Or either that or I stole someone's loot by accident. I don't know. But anyway, got Poison Jab TM and taught it to him. So he has a poison move. He'll probably learn one before I get there as well because he has 15 levels to go. Um, and then we have Drift Blim. He has Acrobatics and Gust. Um, and they're super effective because they're flying types. And he also has Thunderbolt because I have two Thunderbolt TMs and I used one that didn't go away, so I've I've got an abundance of those. Um, I, I I do I have bought Flamethrower and I think I can teach it to him, but I don't think he needs it, so I might keep that. Uh, and maybe I don't need it. And then we have Jinx, who has Psychic and two Ice moves. Uh, Psychic will be good if there are any Poison Pokemon involved, which is also true of Earth Power, but because there'll be Grass Poison, it won't be. But that when the poison gym rolls around, Jinx and Needle King will be laughing. So yeah, that's our team. We're not using Ponyta, and so I'm not going to try and catch a Magmar. I might, I'll still try and catch one if one comes up because I do want one. But um, yeah, I'm not going to use one for the gym because all these Pokemon are awesome against Grass, and I don't why why run in there with a level 35 when I can take. Uh, six level 45s and trounce them. So today I'm, what I want to do is get a bit of leveling done. I think I'm going to work on Arbok maybe. Um, not too fussed about where I end up. Like I say, off camera I'm definitely going to um, finish the leveling. Sorry this episode is late. I wanted to get Nidoking up before I recorded this just because... Um, well, I didn't need to. I was just kind of intent on it, if you get what I mean. Um, it's also got that death point on the map, but I'm going to leave it there just to annoy everybody. Ha ha ha. Uh, and <laughs> and what we're going to do uh, is just get some levels and have a nice time. Because, um, you know, there's a lot of... I, I was going to do a lot more today, but it takes a long time to level up. And that is also... Brings me on nicely just to comment on the delay with Pokemon White 2 Zombies. You're excited. I I'm excited, but leveling those Pokemon up is it. Got, it was so boring. Honestly, it was like Generation Six has become so easy to level stuff up that that has just been like what. Even with Ordinos and Lucky Eggs and XP Share, although obviously XP Share and Lucky Eggs aren't compatible. Um, on Generation 5. Um, it's just taking forever, and it's just like, because I'm getting things a higher level than the Wild Ordinos, it's it's even taking a while with those, and it's just, 
Ugh, yeah, I, I, I need to get back on it. I've not, I've not done it for quite a while now. I've not tried. Um, and then you guys have had some really good suggestions for rules. I'm thinking now maybe I'm going to have a set number of revives instead of points. And then the um, if I find some revives, say in Victory Road or something, um, I also get to keep those and use them. Just because it like I had a few comments on Reddit and things, and it turns out that um, it was a lot easier, let's say, that because like people were saying, oh well, why, why would you bother spending points on reviving when you can just faint and try again? And the point was. Uh, the theory behind it was that in the Elite Four, at least I think in the Elite Four, in the old Elite Four where it was one after the other, I don't know about in the Generation 5 Elite Four, uh, if you died, you obviously had to start again from scratch. I don't know if that happens actually in the um, Elite Four for... Elite Four Four, <laughs> the Elite Four in Generation Five on and Six because it's that different rooms thing. So maybe you actually, if you if you do them, it saves it. In which case, the the whole point of that rule is gone. Um, and because I had temp, yeah. Anyway, I'm 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 still rethinking the rules. The main delay is that I've been really lazy and I've been playing Pokemon X instead because uh, I'm getting ready to make some videos for that because you guys have been requesting them. Um, Anyway, I'm running around doing the thing. The reason I'm running around doing nothing is because I ran here to... Because I thought Arbok would be great um, using Firefang against bug types such as Parasect, Venonat, and Venomoth. But apparently none have spawning. This area was full of spawns when I went to Granite Town to get Hitmonchan out of the PC. And now it's all... They've all gone except for this one Arbok. And we don't need one because I have one. So where should we go now? I think maybe the... I mean, the swamp... I don't know if we're in that, actually. The, the swamp next to Granite Town is pretty full of great Pokemon. Um, it's quite a big, big swamp, and there's always lots of Pokemon spawning because it's around here, and this is the only town that non-donators can get to really quickly. So I think what we're going to do is run into this guy's Polyrath and regret trying to not walk around. Uh, oh, also, while we're here next to a PC, I uh, caught a another Elekid. Um because I thought I could sell it maybe or something. And I also caught a Dragon Air. Um, I'm not going to use a Dragon Air at the moment. It it did help me catch a Elekid because it has a paraly the Paralyze move. I thought maybe I could sell the Dragon Air because they're qu worth quite a lot. But I'm not sure if anybody ever buys them because people try to sell them all the time. I somewhat regret not killing it for the diamonds. But we'll uh, we'll skate over that. But anyway, yeah, I got Dragonair as well. But that's not the team. That's not part of the team for the gym. Um, so yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do is look for some spawns around here. This is not turning out that well thus far. It's, but you know we're getting well. And today I don't look like I'm um, riddled with diseases, which is nice. My hair looks funky. Uh, which is nice as well, but uh, oh well. And I've just I, I've just done what I didn't think I was doing. I I thought I was going that way, and instead I went I went uh, in the rock tunnel direction. Okay, so let's kill this Venomoth, Venomoth. So we got our little tiny Arbok out. Um, I'm, oh God, here I go again. And let's see how the Firefang does. If it becomes difficult using him, we'll we'll uh, level up with. Um, Drift Blim because oh I've fallen asleep. Maybe we can share the XP between them because um, Drift Blim has his flying attacks and they're pretty strong actually. Drift Blim's a really quite a good Pokemon, and also he has are these flying are these Poison Bug or flying bug or they'll they'll be Poison Bug I guess Venomoth or flying poison. Let's just use the acrobatics and see if it's super effective. Then we'll quickly find out. I have noticed on Pixelmon, um, a fighting moves seem to hit Ghost, which I didn't think happened. Okay, Arbok's got leveled up, and so has Driftlim. Hey! Okay, so let's do that. Let's go. Let's send Arbok out. Swap! 
to... Yes, Arbok, I know. Swap to Driftblim. And... Use Acrobatics and kill it with one hit. Um, bearing in mind it's like 10 levels higher than me, that that other one was anyway. It That's a really good move. Like, Driftblim is a nice, uh, nice fine type to have because it's... It's unusual. You don't expect to have it. And also with the different moves I can teach it. Because Gust is crap. I can get rid of that. Um, it's good for different gyms. And the ghost typing is always nice to have. Because it, especially when fire, fighting moves actually don't hit it. Um, but <laughs> that's a different story, isn't it? I'm sure it shouldn't. It shouldn't, should it? Let's, um, I'm pretty sure it shouldn't. I'm, I'm sure normal and fighting don't hit ghost. But... Anyway, let's use the Gust just to mix it up a bit. It's nice to be able to kill some other types, because I've spent a lot of time using fighting moves on, on Gravelers. Um, hey, Arbok's Green level 32, and he's learned Acid Spray. It's the fluid... It harshly reduces the special attack. I'm going to get rid of Wrap for Acid Spray, but Acid Spray is not the type of move I tend to keep. Um, I like to just hit hard and hope, you know, the Fang moves are good because they might burn, but they have a decent attack. Um, so I don't mind things like Fang, like thingy, like, you know, or th electric moves that paralyze and hit and things like that. I think they're quite good, but... Uh, in terms of, like, a really weak move that reduces attack, I haven't got time for that. I'd rather just hit, especially with poison types, which are weak to, uh... I mean, they are weak to psychic, so it is good to lessen special attack, but they're also weak to ground, and they they tend to be physical attacks, so... You're not really, you know, you're not automatically going to knock your um, effectiveness away. So yeah, it's not a great thing. He's fighting that Venomoth, Venomoth, Venusaur. It's not a Venusaur, obviously. I wish somebody would place these lily pads down in a way you could run across them, because I want to get to this bit of the this little island over here some, that's sometimes full of like Grimers and things. Oh, I wish I could just like I you I know you can't fly on them. Can you surf on Pokemon? Um, I don't know, I mean, I've not got anything I can surf on, I don't think, but I'm assuming you can't if you can't fly. I don't think you can ride Pokemon full stop, can you? That's a shame, because travelling across the water is so boring. Which is unfortunate, but what can you do? I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I already apologise, this is a bit late tonight, but, uh, so, I guess you're going to be watching this Monday, but that's cool. Um, oh, my hair, what the hell is... Oh, well, forget it. It's, I've already recorded, like, half the episode. How does time fly this quickly? Oh, I've not done anything. This is the problem with not recording for an hour. Um, oh, well. <laughs> uh, I can't believe how long I've been playing. Like, it, it almost would have been more beneficial to record what I was doing with Nidoking. Um, but... I mean, I guess then I would have had to edit it down, and then I would have been up till 2am doing that, and then rendering it to like 4, and then uploading it till like 7am, um, and then I would have been dead when it came to doing, going to work. Oh, finally, okay. Um, so, you know... <laughs> this, oh, I should have poke a heel, but hopefully it's fine. Um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's iffy, but we're getting there. Um, there's many ways to YouTube, and maybe this isn't the best way, but... I hope you guys enjoy the episodes anyway, and uh, what I do manage to do. Okay, so... He's using bug moves on me, which is fine for now. If we can just try and kill him before he does any more. I've been poisoned, but that's fine, because I'll poke a heal after this. 
Level 33 and level 37, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, Pokey Heal, and let's continue. Come on, some spawns, where are you? There's Venomoths, Venomoths everywhere. Is what I want. Parasect would do, Venonat would do, uh, Para, Paras it itself would do. There's a guy there which suggests there's something around. I would also take, while I'm not super effective, I also take right. Oh, it's a, um, it's a wild polywag and a, a bug trainer guy. I would fight him, but they don't drop loot, so it's pointless. If he was like a level 40 trainer or something, it probably would be worth it, but nah. Nah. Not into that. <sighs> Where are this? Oh, there's a Paris. I'll kill it just for the sake. I mean, it's level 13. It's pointless, but maybe if I... It did generate in front of me, so hopefully I'm generating the spawns and therefore killing this will make a new Pokemon appear, etc. Um... And you know, 91 experience is better than nothing, so... Uh, Pokemon. You know, any other day, any other day, this this bloody biome would be full of Pokemon, and I wouldn't want to fight any of them. And there'd be slow pokes nudging me every single step, and I'd be getting trapped in them, and it would be really annoying. But no. So we're back on the path. There seems to be nothing spawning here, which is weird. Where are all the Pokemon? Um, I'm lagging a bit as well, which is a bit weird. I can hear an Ekans, but I don't want to fight that. Because it's not a bug type, and I need something that my flying and fighting moves would be good against. Um, no. Maybe that bridge there. Across that, and maybe the other side of that. I th don't think I've turned around. I think I'm going back towards... Oak's lab, which is what I want, because I want to try these new newer areas. We've got a slow poke there. That's, no, uh, who's he? Is a venonat. We can get that. That's level 23. That's all right. With the size of this venonat, it's on. I don't know why I'm leaning into the hello, everybody. Um, shut up, Char Char Charbuck. Charbuck, be quiet. Just get on with it. Um, yes, we that we know. With the size of, the, with with them both being small, it almost looks like he isn't small. That's what I was gonna say. It's not even. It's not even worth saying, is it? Uh. Charva. Did I not hit with the fire fang, or was it not very effective? Because. Oh, there we are. I'm going to say, because fire, fire is good against bug, and it... Miltang, what are you doing here? Okay, I'm going to fight this just for the leather. Let's, use, let's see what Poison Jab does. Don't you dare come near me and get that leather. He hasn't done. Four leather, that was good. Um, I can get... Can fight more mill tanks and magic arps, fish and uh, fish and leather. But I'm I'm here for levels, and I'm here for you know level fifty flying insects. So let's let's just we found a slow poke, slow bro kind of section. I think shelter should spawn in water in swamps instead of in the ocean biomes because. Oh, climb the van. No, I'm in the cave. Um, can I get out? Just because, obviously, the uh, the slow bro is. Oh, damn it! I was trying to just turn around so I could uh, get the Paris, but I'll just climb up to the top first. You know, the Paris isn't even worth that worth getting. <laughs> Oh, it's vanished. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the... Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, my mind's completely gone. The Paris, the Paris threw me. Let's get this better now and hopefully I'll remember in a minute. 
Oh yeah, Shelda. Um, because obviously, slow. While while they don't actually need it to evolve, the the official story behind why a slow poke evolved into slow bro is that a Shelda bites its tail. Now the fact that the Shelda looks absolutely nothing. The the thing on the shell looks nothing like a Shelda on the tail. I mean, the shell on the tail looks nothing like a Shelda is kind of by the by. But yeah, the point is, is that the it's meant to be a shelter back and tail. So why on earth you would have a biome that spawns uh, magic cut <laughs> slowpoke and not shelter? I have no idea. Instead, they're a land spawn in the ocean, and that's the only. I think that's the only thing in an ocean biome that spawns on land. So if you get a little island, it's full of shelters and trainers. Um, and also certain like beaches around the ocean as well, but um, whereas I think Krabby should spawn on them, but maybe I'm just insane. It just would make. I mean, even if Shelda spawns on the islands in the water and also in the water of swamps, it would make sense to me. I mean, you don't see clams on the beach; you see them on the bed, the bed of the water, anyway, don't you? I mean, real life. I'm not sure, um, but I'm sure that's where, like, oh, there's Paris. Um, I'm sure that's where real oysters and things live. So we're not doing too bad with uh, Arbok. We need more Venomoths, really, because Venomoth was getting like one level go because they're so high. But we can only fight what's uh, what's spawning. Part of me thinks I should kill the Ekans just to get some more spawns rolling, but the problem is, is that then I have the... Because, uh... like, for example, Slowpoke is psychic, so it's difficult to fight him with poison, and... Ugh, yeah, so why do I always run into a jungle? It's it's like, it wouldn't be an episode of Hippo Crisis Gaming does... Uh... Pixel Mom, if it if I didn't run into a junk oh there's a Venomoth. Here we are, fighting it now. Um so let's swap to Driftblim. And we'll get our um old acrobatics on. Oh I'm confused, which is annoying. I keep fidgeting away from the camera, I'm sorry. I shouldn't play games in a swivel chair if I'm going to be filming, so, filming myself. Nor should I be looking at myself in the camera. If I'm talking to the camera, I should be looking at the camera. <sighs> Nor should I look at the camera because it annoys me. Because I can see my hair. So there we... <laughs> it's one of those things, I don't know if any of you guys ever like do vlogs or do a lot of selfies or stuff. I always find like I look in the mirror and I do my hair and it looks fine and then I look at in a camera at my hair or at my appearance and it looks I look completely different and I'm just like which one looks more like what other people see me like because on one I look like a hobo on the other I look like vaguely like a human being I mean I wouldn't generally say that I ever look, look particularly good but um, you know I. I like to think I have a fighting chance some of the time, but if the mirror's lying to me, because they say the camera never lies, uh, so that would suggest that the um, where's our wild primate here? I could get him with Driftblim because he's weak to flying attacks. So let's uh, do that. It w I would hate it if it turned out that poison Pokemon were also limited to level 35. I know they're not, but it oh, Parasect, awesome. But it would be so annoying because I've got three of them. <laughs> so, uh, although two, I think no, no, he's already too high. Arbok would be uh, would still be legible, legible, eligible. This should knock him out in one go. Should. He is quite high level, but I oh, just just didn't. Um, I, I will allow that. Will allow that as a pass. Um, hopefully the Venom, not the Venomoth. What was it? A Para? Oh, oh, there's Grimes in the background. Mm. Grimes are kind of more important because they drop the loot, but 
I've got level on both of them. But I do want the Parasect because... Oh, he's not that high a level. But let, let's just get it over with. Um, I think maybe I can use Fire Fang on this guy. Just might, might need a couple of attacks. Oh, you know what? I do want the Grimers and I do want the loot that they drop. But there are quite a few Pokemon around in this area that... Um, Oh, look, I almost killed it. One more level, and I would have been able to take that. Uh, let's use Bite, just to mix it up a bit. Th there are lots of Pokemon around here that I can knock out really easily, so just for the sake of the episode, I'm not going to go and get the uh, the Grimers. I'm going to let somebody else get those. They will spawn again. Um, not that these Paris won't, and the, the, the Grimers are probably higher level than this, but there's a Venomoth, there's a... Um, there's Venonat. There's a whole host of stuff around here that I can easily kill. And there we go. It's a shame more things don't drop loot. I've said this before. I think Pixamon needs to have. Oh, let's poke a heal actually. And then let's go for these Venomoths. Um,. So let's now, let's, let's do the swappy out technique because it's quicker. Um, Pixamon needs to increase the number of original items that are in the mod and then it needs to make more Pokemon drop them. So for example maybe there's a poison powder or something that poison Pokemon drop and I, I don't know, I just like more things to drop more things. I know it would make the... Um, the economy go man mental on servers like this, but just for the fun of more things dropping stuff, it seems weird to me that like Mill Tank will drop two or three different items, and yet other Pokemon will never drop anything. Um, or at very least, more Pokemon should drop more things, but then that again like ruins the economy. I guess I don't know. I mean, they'd just rewrite the shop if anything, wouldn't they? Um, before they upgraded. Um, it's easy enough to like farm mill tanks and farm, uh, not farm, but you know, hunt to them. Um, like apples and diamonds and um, blaze powder cost quite a lot because the Pokemon that drop them are really rare. So they could just make like the really common things that don't even dro that don't drop stuff now, but would drop stuff in the future. Like just make make them sell for really really cheap, but at least then they would sell. They they would just have like they could reduce the cost of everything. I don't know. I just think I, I, I'm babbling again now, but you you get what I mean. You get what I mean. It would be I think it would be cool if um. If more things dropped, more things, and there were more things for things to drop. Because it's always fun to collect things. I mean, I'm not saying more Pokemon should drop TMs, and I do think Clefairy should drop, like, a Moonstone Shard, because Moonstones are really difficult to get, get, and they could maybe disable that drop in the config for the server. I'm not sure about that. But I think in the game... If you can't, because you can't mine Moonstone, and so I think they should add it in somehow. Because it's really difficult to get on survival, because you need to get it as a boss drop. Um, but that's that's a side thing. I say that like I play survival as well. Okay, so we're coming up to 30 minutes. Um, I will play for a little bit longer, because I'm having a good time, and also we're on a bit of a roll. Um... Okay, so these are still here. This I've... Let's uh, do these then. So, I don't know how I'm going to kill them quite easily. Yes, Arbok, I know. Let's try and see what Fire Fang does to a non-super effective. Um, Bergamot, it's not got stab, so... Oh, actually, it was a critical hit, so it did quite well. Um, oh, we've got some uh, competition for the loots here, by the look of it. Oh, only one. Okay, let's get this one. Oh, he's not even picked them up. Go on, run off. Oh, he's gone to pick them up. Oh, he hasn't. 
Obviously, he doesn't want it. Okay. No, oh, wait. I think he's got them now. <laughs> oh, the drama. Um... God, Arbok is so annoying. Stop saying Charva. And I know he's saying Arbok. I don't know why they have it saying Charbok, though. I know it's based on the anime, but I don't know why in the anime he says it. I know some things, like... Um... um Charizard says... Is it Lizardon, the Japanese name for, for Charizard? Um, and his roar actually says, if you listen to it, you can sometimes tell that he's actually saying Lizardon, or whatever the actual um, Japanese name is. I say this like I've I've watched it properly in years, and like Charizard's in it anymore. Maybe, it, may, it could be bitten in it again, I wouldn't know. But um, it probably is actually with Mega Charizard. On the cards is a far fetched. Um, okay, so what else can I kill? Um, quite pleased with the progress, and I've got quite well, not that many slimes to say I have the. Um, I have the, the spoils for. Oh, he's fighting that, isn't he? Oh, he's not. It's me. Okay, Arbok, five, five. Um, to say I've got, I just like have the drops from four different Grimers. Um, nine isn't very good because I already had some on me, but um, still, nine's better than none. You make, you certainly make a lot more money from nine. Um, and I think, I mean, I'm, I'm all right for TMs at the moment. I think I need to start concentrating on the next gym TM-wise, which would place me with the requirement for... I do have the, the fire move, um, which I kind of regret buying now because uh, I don't know who to teach it to, and I, I certainly don't think I'll need it. Um, Thank you. At least not in general, I mean... Like I said, there's, there might be like ice, ice stuff will come up or something. I don't know, but um, I mean, flamethrower is an awesome move to have, so it's not like it's a waste, waste of such in that sense. But do you know what I mean? It's it's uh, if I'm not going to use it for the grass gym when I'm at, so I might try and teach it to drift blim just so he's got it. Especially if I'm going to keep drift blim around because I think it's a it's a different one that you don't seem to see that much being used. Um, is HP based rather than attack based, which is not something I tend to roll with, but I'm quite enjoying using him because uh, he's unexpected. So, yeah. Okay, I'm running out of spawns again now, so I might end this episode here. Um, I was just in the middle of thinking what the next gym is. Trying to think. So you do the rainbow badge, and then you go to. Oh, you go to bed. What you do? Oh dear. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, clearly recorded too long. If I'm gonna yawn. Uh, ugh. Right. I'm not finding any more spawns. Let's try and remember what the gym is before I go, though. What is it? I'm sure you guys will tell me. You're probably screaming it at the screen right now. It's not Psychic, that's the one after that. Because the last three are Psychic, Fire, and... Um, it's... I think it's Ground, but it's mixed on this server. I'm sure Giovanni was... Oh, here we are. Let's do these. I'm sure Giovanni was a Ground-type gym leader. Um, not a mixed one. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I know Gary, who... Repl uh, well, Blue... I can't believe I called him Gary. Damn it. I know Blue in, in Generation 2 is a mixed gym leader for um, Viridian City. Um, but I thought Giovanni was ground type. But maybe I'm completely wrong because I'm sure he has Persian actually. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So what, what's the gym that I'm missing? We've done Electric... We've done rock, we've done water, it's not psychic, it's not bug, 
It's not... What? I can't even think. No. I absolutely... Mine's gone blank. It's not a flying gym. It's not a ground gym. It's not an ice gym, I don't think. It's not fighting. No level no, no, no. We're getting we're getting there now. You know what? I've got to go to sport and find out. Cause this is gonna drive me mad. Poison! Oh I've been talking about I've been talking about that for ages. <laughs> okay, so we don't even really have to think about that. What we should be start thinking about is the psychic gym, which we need dark moves and bug moves, and so we need exorcism. But we have scyther, so I, to be honest, because water, so we we're, we're well on our way now. I think we're over the hump. But um, yeah, yeah, let's uh, swap. Vision, so I can see myself. Boom, 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 boom. So thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I've been Dan with my crazy hair. You've been awesome. Keep the likes and comments coming, and I will see you soon for more Pokeballers and Pokemon videos and other videos and videos. Hopefully, I'll just see you soon. And uh, <laughs> yeah, hope you had a great weekend. And uh, yeah, let me know stuff below. Goodbye. Rah.